So I, I did not watch the Jake Paul Mike Tyson fight, but there is something that is very relevant to the NFL world that happened oh. in the pre fight show. Michael Irvin and Jerry Jones are on the set because it's happening yep, right. at Cowboys Stadium. And you can still watch this entire fight, by the way, uh, on Netflix. Listen to what Michael Irvin said to Jerry Jones on television. Okay. Here we go. You give him respect. I give him respect like I gave, like I give my great guy Deion Sanders, who didn't go the normal route. Who well, I'm going to be in Jerry's ear about later. That's just something else we're talking about. That, Mike McCarthy was at the stadium that's Mike McCarthy <laughs> leaving the fight that is being broadcast on the video board that is Michael Irvin saying that he is going to be telling Jerry Jones to hire Deion Sanders for the next Cowboys head coach with Mike McCarthy in the building well Mike McCarthy didn't hear it because he's up repairing the roof yeah from the that's, sheet metal. That's, right. that's, that's true like, he looks like a contractor <laughs> yeah but that, I'm sorry that is not a small deal. Scra big, small, small story, story big, big, deal. Yeah. big deal. Michael Irvin's saying he's going to be telling Jerry Jones yeah. to hire Deion Sanders to be the next Cowboys head coach. He even said that's what we've been talking about. <laughs> <laughs> talking about. Look, Mike McCarthy's gone. We all know that. I don't know if I want to go down the rabbit hole yet about Dion. I think he'd be an, uh, an ab abject failure in Dallas, and uh, we can get to that another day. But the disrespect <laughs> inside the man's own building with a guy that still has a Super Bowl ring, more recently than the Cowboys have. Who has not been Super fired Bowl yet. Ring, who has not yet been fired. Right. Uh, tells you all you need to but know. Again, but again, it, it, it comes to, down to, to what I've talked about with the Cowboys forever. From an organizational structure, I mean, they don't empower the guy. To, I don't care who the head coach is. If he's never empowered to actually coach the team right. and to be in charge of the team and to actually do the things that head coaches do, Let's you're never going to have guys, success. Mike McCarthy, in his entire time in Dallas, has been publicly disrespected by everybody. People view him in a manner that is, frankly, uh, you know, obnoxious to me because when you look at his record, he's got, I mean, to the number. He and Sean Payton are identical. We talk about Sean Payne like one of the great coaches in the history of the sport. They both have the same Super Bowls, the same wins, the same losses, the same amount of years, and on and on and on. Mike McCarthy gets disrespected and never fights back publicly. And when you consider the fact that prior to this year, they did win 12 games in the regular season, three straight years, got a playoff win in that time span as well, you should put a little bit more respect on Mike McCarthy's Agreed. name than they did. Agreed. Yeah, maybe a little. Yeah. He, should, he, should, he should have won more than one Super Bowl with Aaron Rodgers. <laughs>